Hello and welcome to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the DaVinci Resolve micro color panel. So we'll be unboxing the micro color panel. We'll be setting it up and we'll go through all the features and how to use it in DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin first with the unboxing. Let's take out this protective film. Let's remove this. Okay. This is the DaVinci Resolve micro color panel. Powerful color panel gives you all the control you need to create cinematic images. This is what it says here. This is the Black Magic Design logo. It works with Mac, Windows, Linux, and iPad. Okay. And here. And so you can see here description of all the buttons of micro color panel. Let's open it up from here. So the first thing we see is this quick start guide and this is the contents of the quick start guide. Then this is the micro color panel. It has here a USB-C to USB-C cable and this is the panel. Let's put it aside. And we have some more documentation here. Let's put this aside and have a look here. This is a welcome and it says here thank you from Grant Petty and how to download the instruction manual. This is the QR code. If you want to download it. You have here a black magic design sticker. It's telling you that the Valencia Resolve can be downloaded for free with no monthly subscription, no ads, and no user tracking. So a lot of people were asking if the micro color panel comes with DaVinci Resolve Studio license. No, it does not come with that, but it's a bargain in itself. So let's have a look around it. You have here some information, a USB-C port, and this is the button to turn on the Bluetooth. You can see it here. Smooth action. Well, this is the first part of this unboxing and take care of this first part. So this is all that comes in the box. Now we're going to connect it to the PC, link it with DaVinci Resolve. I think I'm going to use a USB cable right now because I have to charge it first. Then we'll go through all this functionality while we are setting it up to use with DaVinci Resolve. Thank you and see you in part two. Okay, so now we will be connecting to DaVinci Resolve and we're going through all the features of the Blackmagic Design micro color panel. So first of all, let's turn on this Bluetooth. Well, no surprise, it doesn't have a charge. Let's use this included USB cable and we will connect it. Okay, and as you can see, from my scopes, it's working. As you notice here, let's try this Y left, Y gamma. Let me go to this other clip here and check the contrast a bit. This is the mid detail, color boost, shadows, highlights, saturation, hue, luma max. Okay, we have here auto color. Let's see what this does. Well, it's cycling through the primaries, color bars, and log wheels. Offset, okay, copy. Oh, okay, because we have here the scrolling, it will change the functions of these keys. So let me find the auto color. No, this is not the auto color. Okay, here, see here, you can change the color, change the brightness, sorry. Here you can change the brightness of the gain gamma and left 
and let me check your offset so these are the trackballs okay and here are the transport controls these are the ranks and these are the trackballs this is the cursor and select this is the color boost which raises the saturation and regions of low saturation to add vibrance to the image and this is the shadows so it lightens or darkens shadow detail without affecting mid-tones or bright regions uh, this is the ipad mount so you can mount your ipad here if you need to this area here is the highlight and viewer uh, these keys provide access to additional layer of control such as go to previous, next marker, or playback speed changes. Let me now tell you about some of these features. If you press here, a short tap to the key and release as you are typing, this will shift up and this will shift down. So tap and hold the key with the triangle in the upper left it will light up green to let you know the modifier is active then press another key so that's okay so we have reset buttons where are the reset buttons so reset gain so let me go here for my primaries reset gamma yeah reset the shadow the mid tone and the highlights which is gain gamma and left so we reset this cursor you click cursor here see you will see the cursor here appears so can i control the cursor from here no okay select viewer okay you get you get full view if you click the viewer so this is the mute it will mute the sound adding keyframes add window okay it added a window add a node it added a node add a keyframe let's go here and okay so now we add a keyframe let's move and click add keyframe yes see it added a keyframe and then if you move here and you click the add keyframe it will add another keyframe and let's say here previous node let me go here for example and let's say previous node next node previous frame next frame let me go here and say previous tail no previous keyframe okay so this will play and stop so let me just go through all the keys and explain them one by one this is next cell previous cell previous keyframe next keyframe next node previous node next frame previous frame next clip previous clip luma max hue saturation highlights shadows color boost mid detail pivot contrast y gain y gamma y left auto color offset copy paste undo redo delete reset bypass disable user loop and this is for shifting highlight viewer cursor select reset left reset gamma reset gain this is the right arrow it will play the clips timeline forward and the left arrow will select this key to play the clip timeline and reverse so let me play it and go this is all for this part i'll end this video now here and we will continue later with a more detailed look at the micro color panel thank you very much now let's do color grading or balancing using the micro panel so of course you will not be using all these buttons and knobs you will use only what you need for this particular color balancing or color grading clip so let's begin so first you see here in the shadows we have to make it all same so we need to make sure that the control panel is connected so plus here no, nothing. It, it, it isn't finding the control panel. So well, it's connected. It's lighting up. Full screen mode here. And finally, let me try here. We'll add a node. Okay. Now we added a node. We can 
start calibrating. So I want to lift the red here. Maybe if I use the trackball. Okay. Well, I shift it away from blue. But now I need to shift away from. Okay, but we need we need we need only this green. So see now if you click on it, it will shift. So let's check here. Oh, you know what happened when I clicked the auto color, it auto colored everything. So now all the buttons are actually working. Let me go back, reset the node. See if you click here, auto color, it will just work now. So it was not, uh, so this micro color panel was not actually working properly when I was having a DaVinci Resolve 18.6, but now it's working with DaVinci Resolve 19. So you actually need to install DaVinci Resolve 19 for this new micro color panel to work properly okay so let me reset reset here click this reset button now you reset everything or redo no reset now we need to work a little bit here okay and contrast the image a little bit and take it a little bit down okay work on the mid detail color boost it a little bit put on the shadows highlights saturation okay with the saturation a little bit hue mm. Luma Max, okay. You know, I'm going to go here with the mouse and make it a little bit and play with the green here and the blue and then go here and make it balanced. The red is not balanced. Take this red a little bit down and okay so let's let's go here in the waveform here it will be more clear we're trying to align all the colors together as much as possible so we get a balanced picture okay or sorry a balanced clip okay Let's go back to the parade. Now let's do a little bit of color grading. So let's take the shadows a little bit down. Okay. And bring the highlights no, a little up. The highlights are the brightest parts of the picture. The mid-tone are the colors that have a medium brightness or and the shadows are the darkest parts of the picture. So see, we are playing with the shadows now. And this is the gamma. Take it down and this is again. Contrast. So this is actually just a quick go through micro color panel. This is not a full fledged tutorial because actually I need to play with it for a while and figure out all the buttons uh, get all the manuals I can get, read uh, through it, master it first, then I can prepare thorough tutorial for you to learn about how to use it and most importantly this shift keys. Anyway, this was the uh, unboxing video, setup video. So you now you know that you need DaVinci Resolve 19 to have proper functionality and proper connectivity of the micro panel and just a quick run through all the features of this panel and how to use it in a very basic way thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye